Okay, dude, here, here's another video. I'm going to use your uh, snowshoe rabbit in this one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in a merger uh, with, uh, with this pattern. And, you know, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap down the hook shank. Okay, it's a 2487. It's an emerger hook again, uh, scud hook, whatever, you know. Scud hooks are a little bit heavier. Emerger hooks are uh, a little bit lighter wire. This is, or I, I believe this is actually a scud hook. Uh, it's a little bit heavier, okay. So for the body, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stuff called uh, D-rib or V-rib. You can buy it at the Orvis store and everything like that. It's basically a little, it's a little plastic rib uh, that you can tie into uh, any of your flies and, uh, and then wind it down. I'm winding this down the side of the hook shank, uh, going, working toward the back, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up wrapping this as part of the body, okay? Or as the body, I should say, okay? Uh, coming forward. Now, underneath, what I've done is I'm using this fluorescent uh, colored green thread, Okay, because this green thread will show through this stuff. The color I'm using here is amber, okay, uh, but at the end of the day, um, this stuff is, uh, you know, what, I, you know, what I'm going to end up with is, uh, a, a, uh, you know, an, an amber color that actually shows through the rib. This is hard as hell to see, okay. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just wind that straight up the hook. And what it's going to do is it's going to give like a segmented body as you're coming up the hook, okay? Um, and the green is going to be able to show through that uh, amber color. So it's going to give like, sort of like a translucent, you know, sort of a buggy uh, effect to it, okay? I'm going to wind that up the body, okay? And then, you know, ultimately tie that off, okay? I come a little bit forward. Okay, so now I've got an amber colored body on the hook. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my snowshoe rabbit. Okay, so on the snowshoe rabbit, when you buy these feet, they come two at a time. Okay, um, and uh, what you want to do is this is this is the heel at back here, back here. Okay, this is the toe up here. You can feel because there's actually toenails up there. Okay. The best hair to use, the most buoyant stuff, is back on the heel. You can just basically peel off little, uh, you know, or cut off little uh, little pieces. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off a little piece down here, okay? I'm going to come up, and I'm going to actually put that on top of the hook, okay? I'm going to make sure i got wild hairs and everything out, okay? I don't want any wild hairs, you know, coming off of there, okay? And, uh, and this is going to act as my emerger emerging wing you should I should say okay I'll tie it down there on the hook and wrap it up tight as I go back toward the body okay now I'm gonna leave that there yeah, I'll tell you what now right now but this is exactly what I do when I sit down at my tying table. I have no idea what these flies are going to look like until I tie them. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a CDC feather, okay, and I'm going to basically clip out the tip. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this feather. It looks like this, and I'm going to clip out the tip. Okay. When I clip out that tip, okay, what I end up with is a little Y. Okay in the end of it, okay? And I'm gonna take that little Y, I'm gonna take all these fibers and push them forward, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just lay them straight down on, lay, lay the, the, the formation of the Y right down on the hook shank, okay? And wind across it, okay? There we go. And what I end up with is a few little CDC legs coming off of there. That CDC feather wasn't worth a shit. Uh, so I told you, you gotta buy that trout hunter stuff. This was some cheap stuff that I had. I don't know where, where I got this stuff from. But uh, trout hunter typically gets you some uh, better CDC. Now, you know, what I've got now is I've actually got a fly, okay, that is an emerger pattern. I'm gonna take real quick and I'm gonna dub on some additional dubbing 
I'll say, in this case, I'm going to just go straight ice dub. Okay. Okay. Not much. Like I said, sparse dubbing anytime you can get away with it. Okay. And I'm going to put a little sparkle on the head here. Okay. And I'll pull back. And I'm going to. tie it off okay that's the beauty of basically tying s your own flies and some smaller flies is basically you can make them up as you go um, so there you go there's, there's a you know with two or three little uh, you know uh, twists you've got basically an emerger pattern CDC is going to give it some legs and some life okay the uh, uh, snowshoe rabbit's going to make it kind of sit, you know, high and, you know, so kind of float in the film a little bit. And then the, you got the ribbed body glass with the uh, translucent green going through it uh, that's going to basically make the fish kind of come and eat it. Uh, so, anyway, there you go. There's another one you can give a go up there.